Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Let's see what a dusty do. Something dangerous, I tell you. Well, I guess things were going fine until a dust bucket showed up at McDonald's. One person allegedly may have skipped the line. A Dusty put out his weapon and shots were fired. Check it out. Unbelievable. Fair use. Tiffany. Mm, mm, mm. All right, Caitlin, within the last hour or so, the Emmy's office has removed the body from inside of the McDonald's behind oh. us. Police now actively searching for the suspect who is on the run. It's very shocking um, that someone would do that for food when we all can just wait. Another deadly shooting within the city limits of Houston, HPD investigating this McDonald's location in the 9600 block of Westheimer Road near oh, West Park Tollway in Chinatown. They say the shooting began with a fight over a position in line between two customers. The male was a customer in the McDonald's uh, behind me. There was some kind of altercation with another customer and during that altercation, the uh, victim was shot. The shooting happened around 4 o'clock Wednesday afternoon in a busy strip mall area. Customers who frequent this McDonald's location and area are unnerved by today's shooting and past violence. Mm. It makes you kind of feel unsafe because you don't know the crowd that's coming here and yeah. you don't want to be shot for being in line. Around the holidays where someone actually pulled a gun out in front of a car but never inside. Police say the suspect is on the run, actively searching for him as of now, described as wearing gray sweatpants and a gray sweatshirt. It's very distressing out here right now. Uh, our officers are working very hard out here uh, at high risk to themselves, uh, trying to uh, control this as much as we can. Danielle Charles, who lives nearby, telling us her sense of security and safety is low. From a one to 10, one being the lowest, I would say three. And I think that it's mentally, you know, people just really are looking for a way out in some type of way, um, whether it's rage or killing. But I think that mm -mm -mm. we definitely need to offer something mental health wise because it's really getting bad. Now, if you have any information about. I think we need a dust buster. Mm -hmm. We need a dust buster. We need more birth control. We're basically just breeding, and again, we don't know who the person is. Uh, they haven't said, but look at this. I've heard this before in Houston. There was actually a black man, two black men that owned a McDonald's in Houston, and they were hiring people uh, that may have had background issues, felonies, giving them a chance. Uh, from what I understand, and I remember, that location was pretty much, you know, everybody black that worked there. So the two black men owned it. And they also worked as managers, okay? You know, they can work themselves their uh, payroll. And I mentioned this before. They, uh, one of the men was taking uh, the proceeds to the bank, you know, like the, make, making a drop. And as he was coming out of the McDonald's to go to the bank with the, uh, money in his hand in the little, you know, ba bag. Guess what happened? Little TT, they were already in the parking lot. Yeah, waiting for him. And then they pulled up. Well, I was like, wow. It and the police were saying it's an inside job. It has to be one of the employees. Uh, as a man's coming out the door, he didn't even get to the car. They happened to already pull up with a gun and try and take the bag from him of course he resisted that's like a you know human re reaction and he maybe he thought oh you know i've heard you know the, uh, a lot of black folks shoot <laughs> uh they shot him and killed him i think he was able to get a round off because he also had a gun but yeah they shot him and killed him and the police has said the vehicle that did this it was already associated with a worker because on videotape this is how stupid they are. That same vehicle was seen dropping off one of the workers. Mm. So let's see. He gives you a job and you set the man up to be robbed. Only thing is it turned out to be a murder. Dusty's being drama. They bring a heck of a lot of trauma. The financial implications. Look at all this. 
Who's going to pull up? Mommy, I want a Happy Meal. Well, we got to pass this one up here because we got uh, yellow tape. They got to pull a body out the lobby. Why? A dispute over a spot in line. Make it make sense. This right here, that's the actions alone. A dispute over spot in line. Low performing men. Low performing men, dust buckets. And you're so angry, you plot your gun and shoot. He was over me in line. I mean, you stop and think. You want to talk about prison reform. Some of these fools, so why are you here? Oh, well, this person skipped me in the line at McDonald's, so I shot and killed him. Why are you here? Oh, I, I did. Uh, a, a person had worked hard for a vehicle and I wanted it. I didn't have any money, so I tried to carjack him and I shot and killed him. Why are you here? I was trying to shoot that fool, but I didn't get my aim straight, and I shot an innocent kid. Why are you here? Oh, I tried to rob that Uber driver. She didn't have no money, so I didn't have any money, and she didn't have any money, and I was going to rob her. She didn't have it, so I just shot her. Police reform? Are there some bad officers out there? Hell yeah, good and bad. But we got a hell of a lot of dusters out there too that are very bad and very dangerous. That's the part we don't want to talk about. Dusties being drama. They being trauma. The financial implications. This business is not here just to put up a little yellow sign and make you smile. They're there. It's there to make money. Now with this being shut down. Shoot, looks like besides the lobby, the drive through shut down. Look at the look at the loss. Imagine the workers there. You see this, and you're supposed to come back to work today like nothing. The next day, like nothing happened. Really? A fight over who's in line first. Cause some dust bucket to pull out a gun and then ran. Hey, no, no, be a man. You, you, you toting that heat. You about that life. What you running for, homie? Stay. I don't care who it is. If it's Dusty Dan, a little hood man. If it's Mr. Wong who did something wrong, I don't care if it's Miho, whoever it is. Stand beside your work, player. Like Neely Fuller said, stand beside your work. You about that like what you running for like a little witch, like a little coward. You were meant have to pull that gun and kill somebody over something so trivial. What you running for? And here's the sad thing, don't forget. More than likely, each time you look up, and more times than not, when they find these evil dust buckets committing the crime, they normally find them at some woman's house. Baby mammy or his, or his mama. Mama to mammy. They don't think. They don't think they just do. Shoot and kill somebody of a spot in line. Let me ask you a question. What do you think would happen, which I know not, and I know too, most people when they commit crimes, especially dust buckets, especially the one that the little chocolate drop, they only get like this on their own people. But stop and think. Some things like this here, low performing men, get them around somebody with some money. People that have things, they it wouldn't even gotten this far. They can see you are an idiot. Oh, you know what? No, my apologies. Go ahead and go ahead. Go them. Okay? They see a fool, they don't even entertain it. Number one, that they're not going to put themselves around it to be in that position. That's why some people in some areas, they don't want to go because they know you got a hot head there. They have more to lose. This food, this dust bucket, they have nothing. That's why they're dusty. That's why they act out the way they, they, they do. You think somebody gonna turn him in? He'll be sitting up, might be laying low, having lunch somewhere today, having breakfast, brunch, having dinner, sitting up playing games. We're gonna have to be quiet, Will. That's so and so now. You know, we don't know what all happened. We know he's a dangerous fool. But think, people that have assets and money, ain't no way to worry it would have even gotten this far. Like I said, number one, they wouldn't be around. But they could know that you're in the wrong and they'll just see you as a fool. Oh, you know what? My uh, pardon me. No, no problem. My bad. No mistake. And let you just go on. And you think, ha ha, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I get my respect. I'm getting over. Your mind is so trivial. But when you have low performing men, they are dust buckets. Low performing. Have nothing to offer. They have no power, no respect. And that's why they act like this here. 
Oh, I'm gonna get mine. I'm gonna get mine. Yeah, you're gonna get mine when you go to jail and they hand down that time. So yeah, you can't even go to a McDonald's. This it just speaks volumes about society and it speaks volumes about the dust buckets. Kill somebody over a disagreement of fight in line. Nobody could just walk away and live to see another day. Nobody. So this here, I hope they find this fool. And you wonder why the jails are full? We need police reform! Again, look how they're acting while we have police. Imagine less police. Thanks for watching the video. Unbelievable. Uh, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification button. Ladies and gentlemen, please be safe out there. You run across a dusty, a dust bucket, even his woman, a dustina. Take the high road. Don't even engage. Be aware, be safe, because it's too much dusty. It's too much dusties and dust buckets. It's too many dusties out there. So be safe and be aware, and I'm out.